Today we will explore Raiden and real estate. Why homebuyers should know legal requirements and the role of technology in the safer home. Joining me today from Denver is Dina Pitarnice, a real estate broker with years of experience in the housing market. She will share her insights into how Raiden affects home sales and buyer concerns. Dina, to start, can you tell us about your experience in real estate world and what inspired you to work in this field? Sure. So actually, my career in real estate started very abruptly, abruptly from the uh, coaching career. Um, I was actually involved in coaching for four years and started my basketball career since third grade. Um, so once that actually ended, one of my friends uh, suggested that I get my real estate license. And uh, I have always enjoyed looking at how homes and 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 thinking that if, if one day I would be able to buy my own home, then, you know, my dreams would come true. And uh, so that was back in 2014. Um, and, uh, you know, real estate is actually one of those businesses that you can start um, with very minimal money invested. You know, it's not like a, a starting a restaurant business, you know, but just like any business that you start, it takes time. It, there's roadblocks and, uh, you know, uh, hiccups on the road uh, that you sometimes don't realize it. Um, but uh, one of my kind of biggest motivator was that instructor when I was getting my license kind of said, you know, out of these 10 um, people that we were in a class, uh, she kind of said, you know, there's only going to be two of you left in two to three years because there's such a big turnaround um, in this business. So my goal was to stay at least for three years to prove it that I was one of them that stayed a little bit longer. So, um, yeah, and and honestly, I, I love this business. It's been, what, 11 years now. And the biggest part that I enjoy is is the people that I meet. Um, obviously, selling the houses is is big factor, but the friendships that I develop and the people that I have met along the way that have become my friends and get to see their family grow and develop and moving on to the next chapter is 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 priceless. Sounds very nice. Um, to continue about Raiden, uh, when working with home buyers. How often does Raiden come up as a concern? Are people uh, and buyers generally aware of it? Yes. So actually every single transaction Raiden comes up. Um, here in Colorado, that's where I work. Um, anytime when I work with the buyers, it, it's kind of one of those things that come up early in the process, right? When I work with the buyers, particularly, we sit down, we talk about what that process looks like to buy a house. Uh, what the disclosures look like, what their due diligence process looks like. And then um, obviously radon comes up because that is one of the inspections that I would always recommend the clients to, to test for in a house. And I wouldn't necessarily say it's a concern. I would say more it's a, awareness because again, in Colorado, it's so common. And I always tell the clients that, you know, they have a 50% chance that they might have a radon in their home, um, even if it if they don't buy it, it could become an uh, kind of thing later on. Um, so even when we are looking at houses, you know, I pointed out to the clients like, hey, this house already has a mitigation system, or this house doesn't have it. So it comes up over and over, um, and then when we start writing contract, it comes up again, and then you know during the inspection process, it will come up again. So. I would say, I mean, even with the working with the sellers, that's something that I always ask them if they have a radon system already installed mm -hmm. um, or not. So I would say every transaction, it comes up. And can you tell us more, uh, what are the legal requirements for radon testing when buying a property in Colorado? Yeah, so again, because radon is so active and common in Colorado, uh, within the last couple of years, actually, it was added into our contract. So again, when I meet with the clients and we talk about what the buyer process looks like, uh, what are all the steps, we also go over the, the paperwork, right? It's called the buyer's agency agreement. And even there, uh, radon is gonna be one of the disclosures as, as the booklets that we send, kind of like about lead-based paint. Um, 
so again, radon comes up, and if obviously the buyers are not aware what that is, then we go in and, and explain it a little bit more. And like I, said, like I said previously, it is also included in our contract. So even if we kind of skip through and not talk about it too much, it comes up on our contract. And every single time when we review the contract, I go through each paragraph and then I explain clients what it is. And radon is actually in, in bold in our contract stating that buyers do have the right to test for it. And um, they do have the... You know, if it is above 4.0, that is the EPA levels, then they do have the rights to, to or it is recommended that they um, install the radon mitigation system. And would you say that our home with mitigation system installed uh, sell more easily? Uh, actually, that's a good question. There, I, I would not say that there is a value, a positive or negative value on a home sale with the radon. Again, it's kind of one of those things that it could come up. And if you have a system, great. That's one of those things that maybe um, one less thing that you have to address. But if it's not, and if it still comes back higher, it's just like, you know, a leaky roof. We are just going to ask the seller to potentially address that. Mm -hmm. And uh, how you personally tested for Aiden in your home? And if so, what was the process like? Uh, yes. So, um, so the first home that we bought, the radon levels actually were, uh, 13.2, I believe. Um, but again, being around in, in real estate, it wasn't necessarily a concern. Yes, it's higher than 4.0, you know, but we just had a radon mitigation company come out, install the mitigation system and that took care of it. So it really wasn't, again, it's not that big of a deal when I say big of a deal obviously it's a concern it's a safety concern health concern uh, but the mitigation systems the way they install it here are pretty efficient and uh, you know once you have that installed it's it's good um in our other home it was just barely over 4.0 um and uh but because the basement was finished and we had a little one for our you know peace of mind we still ended up uh wanting to install the mitigation system. And uh, as Raiden mitigation systems are so accessible, I guess that there hasn't been a situation where Raiden level was so high that it affected a home sale. Um, that's a good question. I have not gotten into that situation. Again, different locations, even in Colorado, you know, going to have different levels. I have talked to one of my inspectors and, and, you know, they have come across 30 at 40. Um, what that does is that the made up radon mitigation systems, they just have to install a little bit bigger fans or sometimes they have to do different measures in order to address it to make sure that it goes down. Um, but no, I haven't necessarily said, heard a scenario where, where a buyer would say, no, I'm not buying it or if they're not able to mitigate it. You know, because sometimes it is a concern to our buyers, like if, if they're not able to, let's say, get the levels down, right? And then they continue to work and work on it. But um, and eventually they do get it lower, but I haven't necessarily heard that the buyers would walk away because of the rate on levels. Um, do you think a technology like RNA Trade and Plus makes it easier for homeowners to stay on top of um, air quality? And has it helped you? It has. Um, obviously, I'm just speaking from my own experience because I don't know who else, at least here in Colorado, has access to that and how they have used it. But honestly, in my own home, once I got it from you guys, I was very excited to test out all the rooms, you know, and started with the basement and was very pleased to learn that within like minutes, um, the readings came up and, and you know, it's interesting because it fluctuates and sometimes people don't realize it, you know, because of the weather, if it's cold or warmer, if it's raining or snowing, um, the radon levels are going to fluctuate. Yes. fluctuate. Right. And it's interesting to kind of see that, but you know, what I, what I do now that I have this little gadget, I, I like to take it to inspections when my buyers are buying a home uh, because the way the inspectors test it here, it takes about 48 hours that they have to leave their little monitor in the house. And obviously it's gonna be more accurate the longer you leave it in the house. But if I could just bring it in and in five minutes, it gives me the, the 
the overall rating. That's that's pretty cool. And to conclude, um, for those uh, looking to buy a home, what are the key takeaways about Raiden and that they should remember? I would say always uh, test for it. You know, it's relatively inexpensive. Uh, I would say peace of mind test. It's only between hundred and hundred fifty dollars to test for it. And again, in Colorado, if the levels do come back elevated, that is something that that you can ask the seller to address it, right? So, and and the systems usually cost between fifteen hundred to two thousand ish. Um, so, if that's something that you can negotiate during the process for seller to address it, that's a bonus. Two is is. Is I would say even if the mitigation system is already there, a lot of times, even with my buyers, I have come across they're like, "Well, the system is already there. I don't need to test for it." What they sometimes don't realize is you don't know how old the system is, the mitigation mm -hmm. system, and you don't know when it was uh, if it's working properly. So again, hundred to hundred fifty dollars for peace of mind to make sure it's working properly, because if it's not, then you can again go back to the seller and ask them to potentially address it, right? And then the third thing is would be what I have come across, and not even just the, the first time home buyers, is even if you don't have a basement, you still want to test for radon because you still might have a possibility that radon is there. Let's say if the house is um, has a crawl space, right? It still might might have a radon. And again, That's I have right. experienced that. Yep. Yeah. So it, again, it doesn't it doesn't hurt to test for it. Um, and in Colorado, I feel like that's something that every buyer should do. Thank you, Dina, for sharing your expertise. It's clear that Raiden is an important factor in home safety and awareness is key. Whether you are selling, buying or already have a home, testing for Raiden is simple yet essential step towards a healthier home. If you want to monitor Raiden levels continuously in real time, check out our Net Radio Plus sensor. The link is in the description. Stay safe and proactive about your indoor air quality. Know you know.